right, I'm here at the high school with A.J. Dufour, the principal, and we're here to find out what's been going on with the schools this year, the students, and um, staffing. Um, A.J. has been with the school for almost 20 years, and this is his third year as principal. So, A.J., how did the school year start off for you? Yeah, we've had a really, really good start to the year. Obviously, the heat this week complicated things a little bit, but it really highlighted how good our students are, how good our staff is, that everyone was incredibly resilient. But it's great we got to have our eighth grade open house, and we've gotten to have our eighth grade orientation day. So that's always really exciting for everyone to welcome our, our newest students and be able to meet and talk with those eighth graders who are entering our building. Fantastic. That's good to hear. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's been done on the school this year as far mm -hmm. as work? Absolutely. So yes, we've had some ongoing roof work happening here at the building. Our biggest project that's going on is HVAC work is being done and fingers are crossed that heating, we're going to be all set and we'll have some more um, consistent heating come this winter. So that is good. Um, a lot of smaller projects as well. We had some teachers that volunteered to come in and add a little painting update to our B gym, which is where a lot of our project adventure classes are held. Um, we have some new lunch tables, which is always exciting for students. So lots of little projects as well, but certainly a couple big ones too. I was going to say, I noticed the paving project out front. Yes, so the paving, um, and, and it's interesting, I think, for a lot of visitors and folks coming to the high school, that's one of the first things they'll see. But for most students and staff kind of being around the back, that's going to be a multi-year project. So it's nice to get that first phase in and continue to see that grow, because that certainly is something that needs regular upkeep all the time. <laughs> Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, so I know other schools have had problems with staffing and getting enough people on yeah. board. Can you tell us how that's worked out this year? Absolutely. So we've been very, very fortunate. I think we're lucky. Um, we have such a great staff. The reputation of having such a great staff really sort of precedes our group. So we have not had any real struggles with hiring. You know, certainly it is challenging maybe if in early to mid-August, someone decides to slide along to another position, you have that panicked moment of how are we going to fill A, B, or C, but we've been really lucky. We've had candidates for all positions, so we haven't experienced it to the same degree that some other districts have. Well, that's good to hear for a change. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and let's see, one of the other things that we talked about was um, how do parents stay involved at this yeah. level? At the younger level, everybody's in the schools and they're seeing what's going on. But at this level, it's a little different. It is. Definitely, it's different. So I think a couple of things are, and I think one thing that I, that I mentioned to the eighth grade families on that open house night is don't feel like because your student is in high school that you're supposed to let them go. That is certainly not the expectation, not the intent. Um, but I think sometimes as you change buildings, you know, sometimes the PTOs are a little less involved as students get older. So it feels like that's the expectation. I think for us, being able to attend those events like open house is huge. We have our open house for grades 9 through 12 on Tuesday night. Um, so having folks come out to that is fantastic. Being involved, like we have our athletics department is starting a Hall of Fame. And we'd really love to have family participation, former graduates, former athletes who want to be a part of that process to be involved. The other thing, although our staffing is really good, there are always openings as ed techs or in food service, really short windows of time sometimes that can accommodate many schedules. So having folks who are willing to come in and do that is really, really helpful. So anyone that's interested, please reach out, never hesitate to reach out. And I think we can find, find a spot for, for probably everyone. Um, and I know something else we may talk about, but is our extended learning opportunities. One area that is growing by leaps and bounds for us is sending students out into the work world. Um, so most correspondences that our families get from me always have a little disclaimer that, hey, if you or someone you know has a business or something you want to are willing to accept students, and I know it's hard sometimes. You know, there's a certain level of training or a certain age requirement, so that makes it tricky. But anyone who is willing to accept students, like you'll find our, our students are great and they're willing to really engage in that work. So that's another area that folks can work directly with students where they already are, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Um, and obviously, at the school, you've got loads of 
activities and things that are going on. Um, could you tell us, are those all staffed as well? I know yeah. football, soccer, yes. field hockey. Yeah, we're really fortunate with coaches, and we're seeing an uptick in participation, which is great. So it has meant adding, um, I know at the middle school level, for example, added a soccer team. So kind of there's a sixth grade team and a seventh grade team and then added a combined team at that level and have been really lucky staffing all of those. And then I would say, you know, on the maybe more academic side of things, um, a lot of groups that are meeting and doing some really cool things. I think one I would highlight is our Noble Ambassadors, um, who is a group they actually gave a tour last night of the building to our school board, um, a really involved group and sort of their mission is to make sure that all students who are new to our building, are welcomed, are invited, feel like they're a part. So that's really, really cool. Um, that we have about 20 students who are really committed to that, which is great. Esports is up and running already, so kind of a multi-state champion teams that we have, which is really cool, brings a lot of pride to those kiddos. And I think what I'm most proud of is that group in particular has worked really hard to make in-person experiences. So we've hosted on weekends events where other schools will come. You know, a lot of people think of gaming, you're sitting in your room, you're by yourself, there's not interaction, but they do a really nice job of adding that peer interaction interaction, which at this age and any age, I think is really important. Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, the other question I have for you is uh, busing. Um, yeah. I know that uh, a lot of schools are looking for bus drivers right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, how are we set on that? Yeah, I, I'm guessing we're looking. So if anyone out there is interested, um, I'm sure they'll take your name. But we're in pretty good shape. I think our daily run, so our students getting to and from school, we're OK. We're good. The tricky part comes in for those extracurricular activities. So when you only have just enough folks and then you have a four o'clock game at Bonnie Eagle, there's no way that someone can be doing their route to bring home elementary school kids, yeah. which has to be that priority, along with getting, you know, a JV football team to Bonnie Eagle. So that's where it becomes tricky. So certainly I think we are we are a little short in that area. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you would like residents to know about the school and our positions you're looking for? Obviously, sure. we've talked about. But. Yeah. yeah, I think is having folks, you know, come on out. There are events, whether it's community events or school events happening. Gosh, and right now it is probably a little slower with us getting back into it, but four or five nights a week anyways. So whether it's an outside dance group that's using our building or one of our teams that are playing, you know, it is going to be, I think, for on the athletic side of things, a really exciting fall. Mm -hmm. So definitely getting out and seeing, seeing our student athletes in action would be great. So, yeah, just finding ways to be on our campus. Um, and finding ways to reach out. If there's something, you know, we have a good relationship with families reaching out, but I think it would be great if it's always more. So if there's something a kiddo needs, please let us know and we'll do everything we can to make it happen. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you for taking some time Absolutely. with BCM today. We appreciate that and uh, hopefully your year goes really well. Absolutely, thank you.